What's up, everyone? Welcome back to MP Dog Gets. Me and Cheddar back out here fishing. Uh, decided to take a walk back uh, behind my house at the Attic's Reservoir, and uh, we're gonna do some fishing because it's uh, mid-March and uh, should be spawning season pretty soon. It's about 75 right now, so it's been about it's been the high 70s the past like three or four days. So hopefully those bass are gonna be coming up. But I haven't been back here fishing in about uh, about six months, so we'll see if there's any bass back here. There's one. There we go. Let's see what it is. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a gar. Look, before it gets in. Yes, got him. Wow. Look at that, Chad. We caught a little dinosaur. Nice. That's weird. Oh, he ripped off my uh, my bait, though. He snapped it off, which kind of sucks because I've only brought one, one of those Ned rigs. Crap. Oh well, I have uh, two other hooks, but uh, wow, crazy. Surprised that, uh, this is probably what was biting at top, to be honest with you. There's lots of gar in here. I'm not sure what this is. I think this is maybe a striped one or a long nose. I'm not sure, uh, but no, that's definitely not a long nose, but wow. All right, first catch out here. Didn't take too long, but took my bait, took my Ned rig, but not bad. All right, buddy. what do you think about this, Chad? What do you think about this dinosaur? God, they're so hard and strong. All right, let's get this guy back in. All right, buddy, let's get you back in. I know you can breathe out of water, but let's get you back in there, buddy. Oh. Oh, go. There he goes. Where's he going, Chad? Get him. Go get him. Gars are one of my favorite kind of fish. I love catching gars because, I mean, they're so prehistoric and they're so hard to catch usually. I, I was surprised that that was, actually was a gar because I set the hook and, you know, actually probably I might have swallowed it. I, I probably should have tried to look for the hook, but those things are so durable. They'll, they'll spit it out in no time. So, all right, let's get the switching baits and let's get the fishing. Keep on heading down the bank right here. I got this shad colored crankbait on. I think it's just a cheap one. I'm not sure what kind it is. But uh, let's see. I'm gonna cast down the bank first and cast out. I like to cast along the bank, you know, and do quarters or whatever you want to call it. There's a baseball. Right. I want to catch, I want to see if there's bass or uh, hopefully crappie are in here. Cause there was a bunch of crappie in here at one time. I'd really like to catch some to eat. Yeah, it's real shallow.
there's one. Bass, bass, nice bass. Nice bass, guys. If it stays on, it got to stay pinned. Stay pinned, don't get caught, don't get caught. Yes, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Yes, woo! Don't break my line. All right, check that out, guys. Woo, that's what I'm talking about. Man, I was afraid I wasn't gonna catch any bass out here. Dang, <laughs> nice. Dang, I, it came out of nowhere. Dang, that is a heavy fish. That's at least a four pounder. That is definitely a four pounder. Nice, come check him out, Chad. What's up, buddy? Woo, hell yeah, that's at least a four pounder. Might be four and a half. That is a chunky fish. What's up, girl? All right. Dang, came up with swallow. I was afraid it was gonna get, cause this line I have on now is eight, eight pound line. And it, it probably needs to be switched out to be honest with you. Cause I haven't switched it out in a while, in a couple months. So I need to switch it out. All right, beautiful fish, beautiful girl. All right, let's get her back in right here. I don't want to get in, get too wet. My shoes and put my foot right here. All right, girl. All righty. Go ahead and get yourself out there. I'll get my shoe wet, it's fine. There she goes. Noise. You want to chase after it, buddy? All right, nice. Well, luckily that Ned rig didn't uh, get broken off, so I'm going to continue to use that. I might retie it just in case. It got nicked around that tree a little bit, just in case it doesn't get, has any uh, nicks in the line or anything. So, all right, I'm going to continue down. Hopefully there's some more shallow. I'm actually using the uh, Guggenbaits, the new rattling Neds. So I guess it is a Ned rig. It has a little rattle in it in the end. If you watch my channel, uh, Guggenbaits are my favorite by far, because uh, they're actually the... Guggen Squad is actually the ones that got me into wanting to film fishing and uh, actually record fishing. Getting to making a YouTube channel actually, so. But uh, these things are what I used to catch that four, to four pounder. I'm gonna guess four and a half, four and a quarter probably. That thing was girthy, so. All right, let's see if I'm gonna continue around here, see if there's any uh, other big girls out there. Come on, Chad. Come here, buddy. Come on. fun we had a great time uh chad had a good time swimming around in the pond and of course i caught those two fish earlier in the video i was trying to guess what kind of gar it was and i said uh stripe there's no thing, such thing as a striped uh gar there's a uh, spotted there's long nose there's short nose and there's alligator gar and basically everyone that i usually catch now i, I figured out is a long nose gar because those are more common around texas and i've caught alligator gar but those were in uh those were in a different river system, so. But I, I caught that first uh, long nose gar on that little Ned rig. And then finally about, it was probably about an hour, hour 15 minutes. And then it finally came around probably about a, three quarters of the way around the pond. And finally came up to those stumps sticking out. And that's where I found that uh, big girl, that bass. I'm guessing it's probably about a four and a half, four pound bass, so. That was great, man, I had fun. And Ched, uh, Ched's exhausted, so uh, we made it back home. And uh, actually we're out here in the woods right now we're trying to uh, find this creek, a uh, hidden creek. I'm going to keep grinding and try to get a video out every week. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe for more, and tell a friend, you know. Uh, they might want to learn about fishing or see how I fish. Uh, and if you have any comments or anything below, always uh, leave some comments, uh, negative, positive, anything. Let me know what I'm doing wrong or what I could be doing. I appreciate everything, and uh, as always, stay with.